Council back for another art class with my favorite in the whole world, Bob. Bob. So today we're gonna do a really fun project, um, but Bubbles inspired me because we thought about as we were blowing bubbles on Easter, we thought about what it would look like to put food dye inside of the bubbles, and so this was our inspiration. Well, something that would change the color. Yeah, something but... that would change the color. Yeah. You need something that would change the color, and and then we'll explain. Yeah. It. So, what we came up with on our investigations was that you actually can make bubbles, colored bubbles, and this is how. So we have some acry acrylic paint. Um, there are usually sets of like 30 acrylic paints for uh, maybe $15 online with like a coupon code. Um, so if you are ordering online or if you have it laying around the house, that's great. Uh, and so what we're going to do first is we're going to pick our colors. We chose a palette of three colors. Mm -hmm. And um, so this first color that we chose was this really beautiful magenta color. And we put about a tablespoon of the magenta color with about a tablespoon of Dawn. Do you want to show that? Yep. So we're putting it in kind of a reusable container so that we can just wash it out at the end. The next color we chose was kind of a, a sky, cyan, like a, a, like a, a sky, sky blue. Yeah, sky blue, robin egg blue. Right. Nice. And then for our last one, if you want to come over here and join me, Babo. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me show you this, actually. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the one without any. We've just put the tablespoon in there. And again, it's about one part to one part. So there's about a tablespoon of green in there. Can you go ahead and, and eye about an, a tablespoon of Dawn? I just hope I don't mess this up. You can squeeze a little harder. Okay. Put it in there. Okay. Keep going. I think that should be good. Okay, okay good. So now Ooh. we're gonna go ahead and get a paper towel ready. Okay. I got a fresh roll because the other one was out. That's perfect. Thank you for doing that. Yep. Okay, so go ahead and mix that color. Good. Okay. Do that. And then I'm going to go whole ahead and add two parts water. Now, if you would like, as you start to mix that all together, if you have straws at home, that's wonderful. What I did was I did not have straws because I'm not a straw user, but we found a big pen that we opened up and used. So do you want to try blowing on that and we'll see what happens? This? Yeah, put the, put the lip of that into the liquid mm -hmm. and then go ahead and blow into that. Whoa. Okay, awesome. So we're getting all these bubbles. Do you want to carry that over there, that magical stuff? Yeah. Awesome. Whole bunch of. Okay, so I'll take that and put that right on the paper towel. Ooh. Here, I will bring this over to you. Here we go, let's check this out. So we see all those bubbles, let's watch Bob do it. Woo, a big one. Remember to tilt it. It's a little bit easier if we tilt that. Okay, I'll hold it. Awesome. Now let's get our paper ready. Okay, beautiful job, Bob. Mm -hmm. So we have taken sheets of paper. I use sketch paper if you have um, uh, mail, extra mail, if you don't have paper at home, anything that you can find, and then just go ahead and set it right on top of there. And we'll do press, okay? Okay, so what we've done is we've figured out our technique, which we'll show in the, in the next example. But with this first one, what we've done is we've blown up the bubbles and we've just lightly pressed our cards in so you get that really beautiful replicating bubble pattern all over your paper. How gorgeous is that? So what we're gonna do, 
Babo. If you can mix up that color really well, I will get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So mix it all together. Yeah. Get that soap and that paint. And do a nice consistency. Awesome. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of the water. So one part paint, one part soap. Two parts water, and then maybe take it into one corner and let that slosh on down. And then it kind of should have the kind of look of our cat's food. It should look like our cat's food because we add water to his food, so that's a definite yes. Okay, so let's see what you do. Let's do a little trial run. And then remember to pull it out a little bit. Yeah, to get some of those bigger bubbles. Nice. Okay, so let me show you what he's doing here. Okay, so he's getting his this little Bic pen. Do you mind holding this for a second so I can model too? Okay, so we have this consistency here and we've mixed up the paint and the soap. Now what I like to do is to take that into one corner and blow in the in the liquid and then pull it out of the liquid a little bit to get some of those higher bubbles that takes the bubbles above the lip and then I can take my card right here and then I'm just gonna press that gently on top just a few bubbles press them lightly in there Good. Okay, let's try it again. Here. Get some more of the paint. You got that? Yep. Nice. I'll trade you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna press some of our We're starting to get some blue in there. We gotta do a few rounds. Let's kind of wipe that. Yeah, so kind of collect some of that stuff up. Okay, and then take it back into the corner. So fun. Awesome. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're gonna start to get some of these nice little blue bubbles. There they go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, look at that. Look at those beautiful blue bubbles. How cool is that? That's cool. Pretty amazing. And then what we can do is we can lay our paper down. Thank you for your expert bubbling, Bob. You're welcome. And then we're starting to get a couple of colors. 